students today we will see vi characteristics of zener diode now vi characteristics means voltage current characteristics and they can be formed if you know the forward bias and reverse bias a condition of that particular diode now to plot this vi characteristics we have to plot a graph of y axis and x axis so this is y axis this is x axis x axis this is forward voltage this is a reverse voltage this is forward current and this is reverse current this is zero now to show the forward bias characteristics we have to use the first quadrant and to show the reverse bias characteristics we have to use the third quadrant because in that case the voltage applied will be negative and the current flowing also will be negative now in case of zener diode the forward bias is same like your conventional or ordinary pn junction diode that means as you increase the applied voltage as you increase the applied voltage it will get there will be no current flowing in the diode and at some stage that is new voltage there will be a current flowing in the diode for a small increase in voltage also now that particular voltage at what at which place this happens this is known as knee voltage this is known as knee voltage and this will be your forward bias characteristics forward bias characteristics of zener diode so it is same like your conventional pn junction diode where this knee voltage for that our diode was 0.7 in, in terms of silicon and 0.3 in terms of germanium so same type of characteristics you can see for zener diode in the forward bias and it is not much used in this section in this forward bias type in any application it is mostly used in reverse bias now what happens in reverse bias in reverse bias as you increase the applied voltage whatever reverse bias voltage is applied to the zener diode as you increase there will be a small minority charge carrier current small current due to thermally generated carriers thermally generated carriers are called as minority carriers due to them there will be a small leakage current flowing in the diode till you increase the voltage to certain specific voltage which is called as breakdown voltage vb that can also be called as zener voltage vz and once it reaches that zener voltage the strong electric field of the depletion layer will make or will generate many majority charge carriers and then there is a drastic current flowing there is a heavy current flowing at a constant voltage this is what you can see this is a very important characteristics of zener diode so this is a current which is flowing at a constant voltage see voltage is constant and current is flowing current is flowing so you can call this current as i z minimum current you can call this current as i z maximum current and this is the area which is giving you zener breakdown which is giving you zener breakdown and this feature where as you increase the reverse bias voltage applied to zener diode if it reaches a certain specific voltage that is called as breakdown voltage or zener voltage which can be 6 volts or 12 volts or depending on which a diode you are going to use depending on that at that particular voltage the current is going to increase the current is going to increase and the voltage is limited to a constant value now this feature this feature what are we show which is called as zener breakdown this feature is very important for the zener diode to be used as a voltage regulator to be used as a voltage regulator this type of specific application or this type of specific characteristics you don't find in ordinary pn junction diode this is found only in zener diode 
Therefore, zener diode is mostly used in reverse bias condition.